The media fraternity and the wider society are continuing to mourn the loss of Guyanese broadcaster and international public servant Hugh Chumley, who died on Friday, August 10th at the age of 73 after a prolonged battle with lung cancer. Chumley was being treated in New York when he passed away. Family members say that a funeral service will be held in New York and that a memorial service will be held here in Guyana. The Guyana Press Association, in paying tribute to the broadcasting pioneer, recalled that Chumley's contribution to the world of broadcasting in the region has been legendary, and his indefatigable work in the United Nations system has been exemplary. Pointing out that Chumley was a visionary, the Guyana Press Association stated that it is happy and proud that Chumley paid so much interest in the development and growth of the media, not only in his home territory of Guyana, but in the Caribbean region and the world. His initiative in helping to create the Caribbean Broadcasting Union, CBU, and his commitment to the regional body rightfully earned him the well-deserved and respected position in the CBU's Hall of Fame. In an interview to mark the 40th anniversary of CBU, Hugh Chumley reflected on that organization. The talk or the policy of the governments uh, to move towards the establishment of national radio stations created an immense furor because Rediffusion, together with the newspapers that were foreign owned, took the position that if governments owned and controlled a radio station or radio stations, that was anathema. That was the professionals who would be employed would be agents of the devil. Uh, they had no, would have no professionalism. They would be unaware of separating facts from fiction. Uh, they would be instruments of propaganda. So that was the, the furor that, 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 uh, that underlay the developments that led to the formation of the CBU. Carifta had just been formed. Uh, that year, 68, early. And it was the Caribbean Free Trade Association. Yeah, it was the precursor of, uh, of, CARICOM. The, of CARICOM. And another development was a report on the state of mass communications in the Caribbean. It was done by two UNESCO experts, Ropper and Clark. So it reviewed the whole situation. It was that report that recommended the establishment of the Caribbean Institute of Mass Communications, of the Caribbean News Agency and, uh, and strengthening of the Caribbean Broadcasting Union. Chumley brought class, finesse and pizzazz to post-independence radio and laterally television broadcasting in the Commonwealth Caribbean. He was the general manager of the Ghana Broadcasting Service back in the 60s. He also helped to establish the Caribbean News Agency, CANA, and the Caribbean Institute of Mass Communications, CARIMAC. Chumley also served as UNESCO's first representative to the Caribbean, opening the Kingston, Jamaica office. He continued to make a sterling contribution at the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and in numerous other international assignments. He returned to Guyana and reignited and re-energized media and other corollary sectors, including work in helping to formulate a media code of conduct. He drew from his long experience in conflict resolution and development matters internationally when he served as a facilitator in the fashioning of the Herdmanson Accord. Hugh Chumley leaves to mourn his wife, children, and his extended family and scores of friends in Guyana and elsewhere.